Hey guys, so Anuk Shuk Dog Food comes in a 26% protein, 16% fat formulation, as well as a 32% fat, 32% protein. So basically, fat level equals energy level. And if that's true, why doesn't anybody else go over 25%? This is typically how fat is added to pet food. By spraying. Pretty nasty, eh? Kibble can only absorb about 25% before it turns into a big, sloppy mess. So what do we do? It's called vacuum infusion, and we believe it's the best way to add fat to pet foods. We're going to do an experiment. So like any experiment, safety first with the glasses. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add the same amount of dog food to each one of these flasks. So here we go. Roughly, if I can get them in, <laughs> roughly one beaker full in each. Beaker number one. Speaker number two. Okay, perfect. Now, this is the oil. We're going to add the same amount of oil to each beaker, roughly up to the line. So this is typically how fat is added to pet foods in the industry, by pouring on and letting it sit. They call it a conditioning chamber, but all it is is spraying fat on, like I showed you earlier, and letting it sit. We're going to give it a quick shake to get everything coated. Okay, that's looking pretty good. You can see the bottoms are all kind of goopy. All right, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our vacuum tank and suck out all of the air out of this flask here, vacuum infusion. Now when I do that, something really cool is gonna happen. You're gonna see the kibble bubble, almost like boiling. And that's because when I suck out the air, all the air out of the flask obviously is going to come out, but also the air inside the kibble. So if you think of a piece of kibble as like an aero bar, aero bars are full of holes and pores and crevices, and there's also air in those too. So when I suck the air out of the flask, the air is coming out of that as well. So zoom in on this, I'm going to crack the valve, and you're going to see something pretty interesting happen. Let me put on the valve, there we go. So slowly suck the air out of the flask and you can see that bubbling happening. That's all the air coming out of the pores inside the kibble. Okay? So at this point right now we are looking at a flask that's pretty empty as far as the air goes. It's vacuumed. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly introduce air back in and I'm going to shake, shake them both. Make sure they stay evenly coated. Now what we're going to see is we're going to see all of that fat that's coated on the kibble get sucked back in as the air pulls it back in to all those pores and crevices. Shake, 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 shake. Alright. Couple more seconds. There we go. Alright. So, take the top off this one. And there we go, perfect. Now, check this out. I'm gonna pour both the flasks onto the paper towel and we're gonna see what difference we actually did here. Okay, so vacuum infused on my left right here, vacuum infused feed, and on my right, take at this goopy mess. This is your typical conditioning chamber, spray on, pet food industry way of fat application. Look at that. It's like a greasy chicken dinner. And in this one, notice how dry it is? Because all that fat, the same amount of fat, remember, same amount of fat, same amount of feed, was sucked deep inside the kibble. And look at that, clean, 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 clean. And that is the secret of how we get 32% fat kibble when no one else can do it. All right, so if you want to learn more, here's the button, go back to the menu, and there's two more videos you can watch. Thanks.